Temperatures now, Northern California feeling the heat. We are on day two of another heat wave, and because of that, uh, there's concern tonight about California's power grid. Cal ISO says the grid is stable right now, but last night it got a little tricky. Operators briefly declared an emergency alert, causing some confusion. So how much power do Californians have at their disposal? Well, CBS 13's Andrew Hobner joins us live from West Sacramento, getting answers on how energy is used and what prompts problems with the grid, Andrew. Yeah, guys, when it's this type of hot outside, everyone is rushing for the shade or air conditioning. Now, I'm going to give you an example of what it looks like for the power grid without walking over to the substation there and electrocuting myself. That wouldn't do much good for the uh, CBS Sacramento health insurance plan. So instead, I'm going to use this leaf right here. It's not the most effective fan for me, but it's what I got. So if I want to cool myself off, I take this one leaf and I fan myself with it. Now picture every other person in West Sacramento coming to this tree, grabbing one leaf and trying to fan themselves with it. Eventually, there's no leaves on the tree. That's your power outage, and the sun is bearing down on you. That's the type of trouble Cal ISO has to face when they get heat waves like the one we're seeing. When it's cool outside, it's no problem for California's energy grid. In California, the KISO load is about 30 gigawatts. Then comes the summer. On a really bad heat wave day, it can be over 50 gigawatts. That difference is pretty much all air conditioning. UC Berkeley professor and Cal ISO board member Seb Borenstein is here to explain how much more. But we're adding an extra two thirds of the demand uh, through running our air conditioners harder. So why is that? UC Davis energy expert Keith Taylor weighs in. They're uh, more inefficient than things like heat pumps that are coming out right now. Uh, and what happens is people come home from work. They might be in an office building. The, the kids might be in school. But when everyone comes home, they're all firing up. They're really inefficient AC units all at once at the same time. So that puts a severe strain on the grid. And that can lead to trouble with the grid. Cal ISO told CBS 13, quote, the grid is currently stable, no energy supply deficiencies are forecast, and no flex alerts or emergency declarations are anticipated at this time. But there's still a late summer and early fall ahead. We're going to need to have to balance uh, the peak time, the peak load demand, as it's called, uh, going forward. The benefit? More hydropower, courtesy of a very wet winter. And that will help when we get into the fall, when we typically have less hydro available and it will allow us to meet a higher demand. The be that's the good news. So don't go nuts on the AC and keep the closet light off as temperatures rise throughout the state of California into the late summer. So you heard Professor Bornstein say that's the good news. So what's the bad news? Well, the bad news is that a decent chunk of the power that we use here in the state of California in the summer and fall is actually brought in from other states, typically from the Pacific Northwest. But because it's been so hot up there all summer, you're starting to see more of a push for people to use air conditioning in their homes up there. They historically have not had ACs in apartments because it never gets that hot. So once the Pacific Northwestern state starts to need to use their own power to use AC in their own homes, that puts an additional strain on the grid down here and how much power we can use in the state of California. Just another summer here on the West Coast, guys. As a former Oregonian, you know about that. My sister and Eugene is saying, yeah, it's getting hotter here, that's oh, for sure. We feel it. All right, Andrew. Sure going, is. Out on, going out on a limb to show us uh, the benefits of uh, cooling down. Yeah. Right? Perfect. Let's go out on a limb. So let's talk about